A news update on the bottom of the screen is that Pakistan will reportedly take about three more days to complete its response to the dossier given by India. Now, that's a very long time. In the middle of all this, there have been a lot of developments. Most important has been the development from Washington, where the Department of uh, Secretary of State spokesperson came out and said that America will do nothing on Kashmir. Kashmir is entirely in, in India's internal matter. This follows Zardari's appeal to, uh, to America to interfere in Kashmir. But a strong no from America. Straight enough points of view. Uh, my guest tonight on the show, Bilal Lone from Srinagar, is a top leader of the Huriyat Conference. Tariq Azim is former Deputy, Deputy Information Minister of Pakistan. And G. Patsa, the former High Commissioner of India to Pakistan. Begin by asking you first, Mr. Azim, message is loud and clear to Pakistan. Don't come crying to us on Kashmir. Do something about what's happening in your country instead. Has Pakistan got the message? Very very strong language uh, you're using. Uh, nobody said, please interfere in Kashmir. Nobody said, you know, uh, to us, don't come crying to us. These are your words, you know. So let's be very uh, sober about these things. Um, whether you deny the reality is up to you. But I think it's a matter of fact. Uh, we have to ask ourselves a question. Is Kashmir an issue or not? We can close our eyes and say there is no such issue. I mean, you remember Obama mentioned Kashmir. You remember that when David Miliband was in India, he mentioned Kashmir and he mentioned in the European Union. So, but if India tries to all the time is in the denial mode that there is no such issue, I think it will hurt India. I think it is important and I welcome the statement made by Panam Mukherjee today. I think it was, it was the right statement to make that there is an issue of Kashmir and it should be resolved bilaterally. It doesn't matter how you resolve it. Okay. You resolve it on a United Nations forum. You resolve it by having a third party um, mediation or you resolve it bilaterally. Whichever way, I think it is, it is good both for India and Pakistan mm -hmm. that we resolve this long-standing issue and I think India also needs it as much as we do. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think the message going out from Washington uh, was, was quite clear. It essentially was, even if you don't like the phrasing of it, Mr. Azim, that don't come crying, essentially in a view Obama has made it clear he's interested in Pakistan, Afghanistan, and there's no clubbing of Kashmir in that. Bilal Lone, let me come to yes, you. Yes, fair enough. They were talking about, they were talking about Mr. Holbrook's uh, remit you're talking about. No, but he yes, fair he enough. I mean, that we don't want to invite, he we that don't want something. to invite anybody else from outside. If we can resolve our own issues at home, I think it is good. No, I think it, it, it is good for the, uh, for the peace in this region. It's good to ease the tension between India and Pakistan. Yes. I think everybody wants it. No, he actually, it wasn't only about Holbrook. He suffixed that by saying that I, I think our policy is well known. India has clear views dealing vis-a-vis -vis the Kashmir issue as well as the Pakistanis. That was not the context of Holbrook. That was an independent remark following his comments on Hol Holbrook there. But Bilal Lone, uh, you have expected and wanted... Kashmir to become an international issue. Here you have the new, new American administration saying we respect India's position on Kashmir and it is ent entirely India's matter. Your reactions, please. See, basically, let me put the record straight. Uh, first of all, I am not concerned about whether it is a national issue or an international issue. The basic issue for me is that Kashmir is an issue. Whether you like it or not, you are yourself making it an issue and that to international consequences. The, uh, the very fact that you are talking to me about Kashmir means that Kashmir is an issue. So let's be honest about this thing that uh, Kashmir is the core issue between India and Pakistan. And I would like to add that if India and Pakistan want to solve the issue bilaterally, unless and until you don't take the Kashmiris into it, I don't think that we are going to reach anywhere. And to be honest, let us stop beating about the bush. Kashmir was an issue and Kashmir is an issue and uh, whether you like it or not. Yeah. You people are making it an international issue, a national issue, or a bilateral issue. For me, Kashmir is an issue, and the very fact that we are talking about it means that Kashmir issue is live. Right. So I'm, only, I'm only taking it in the context of Obama's comments having been a setback. But Mr. Patsati, would you like to respond there to uh, uh, Tariq Azim first, and then Mr. Bilal Lone, please? Firstly, there's uh, some things which Mr. Azim said, which I agree with. Uh, but firstly, how did this... Uh, uh, situation arise. Uh, Mr. Zardari wrote a very ill-advised piece in the Washington Post urging the Americans to get Holbrook to deal with Jammu and Kashmir. I think that was completely ill-advised. It is in fact a retraction from his earlier position. I, I, I believe he has done it under pressure from the army and his foreign office. With regard to what Mr. Azim said, yes, 
there have been good bilateral discussions when he was minister, when President Musharraf was in office. Uh, that was based on Musharraf's four-point proposals and the Prime Minister's proposals that while border cannot, borders cannot be changed, you can transcend borders and make them irrelevant. So there was a very substantive dialogue on that. I think that has to be carried forward. The Americans have no role. Mr. Zardari's comments totally ill-advised. Coming to Mr. Bilal loan, I think I treat the Hurriyat as an extension of the ISI. Calling it a core issue, he is echoing precisely what the ISI says in the Kashmir Media Services, which is a ISI-funded news organization. Uh, they, they are, the Hurriyat is irrelevant. The elections, are, uh, with the large turnout, the world community is saving their free and fair. So as far as I am concerned, yes, there is a Kashmir issue. Like there are issues in Pakistan, there are issues in India. We will discuss it with the elected representatives. As far as I am concerned, uh, the, uh, the Hurriyat with the insurgency, uh, the militancy waning, uh, they can stage a few hartals here or there. But otherwise, to me, they are irrelevant. We talk to the elected leaders. Mr. And as Lord. far as Mr. Azim is concerned, I agree with him. We need to talk directly to Pakistan. We are not saying it is not an issue. Uh, but uh, as I would like to remind him, there was some very positive progress during uh, the, the la between 2004 and 2007. And I think we should take that forward. Not get into these new Mr. moves which Mr. Zardari is making and what General Kiani said. Let's I, build I, on what we've got. I, I